Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to classify polynomial functions, all right? So if we're going to talk about a polynomial function, there's a couple things that we're going to do uh, to help us classify them. So first of all, I'm going to write in the standard form of a polynomial function. And this is something I talked about in another video, but I wanted to go through it because it just looks so confusing. So a polynomial function can be represented as a times a to the n times x to the n plus a to the n minus 1 x to the n minus 1. And this is going to continue dot, 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 dot to n, n minus 2, n minus 2, all the way till we get to a sub 1, x to 1, plus a sub 0. All right. So what you can see is when we write a polynomial function in what we call our descending order, we have the largest exponent in front. And then we go down in descending order all the way down till we get x to the 0, which would just be 1, leaving us with a to the 0. Remember, a to the 0, that's going to represent our real number, which would be our constant. All right? And a to n is what we call our leading coefficient, because this nth term, this is going to be your degree, where n equals the degree of the polynomial function. And that's going to be the largest exponent right? as you go down in descending order. And a to the n is going to be your leading coefficient. All right. So now we need to talk about the different types of polynomial functions. And we have a couple of them. First of all, we could have a constant. And I'll talk about these all in a second. We have a constant. We could have a linear. We could have a quadratic. A uh, quadratic. We could have a quartic and a quintic. All right, and we can keep on going on and on. But once we start getting past um, our fifth degree, the um, the names, and we just kind of lump them a little bit more together. So here's a little bit of our names. Now, what's important about understanding each one of these is understanding the degree for each one. So when we're looking at a degree of a constant function, the degree, which would be your variable raised to what power, that's going to be 0. And I'll kind of give you an example in a second. When we have a linear uh, polynomial, that means the degree is 1, or the, the degree of the polynomial. That means the largest exponent. When we have a quadratic, the degree is 2. What did I miss? Ah, I forgot cubic. I was wondering what I was doing. Sorry about that. Cubic. Quartic. Quintic. OK. So a cubic is going to be when we have a degree of 3. Quartic when we have a degree of 4. And quintic is when we have a degree of 5. All right. So now the number of terms, remember a polynomial is going to be a set of monomials. Right? Each one of these are going to be a, a set of monomials. Now, when we're dealing with a constant, we're only going to have our one monomial. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of give you an example of each case. So a constant is when you have a polynomial, when you have a degree equal to 0. So this could be f of x equals 9, right? where your a sub n is 9, and you have x to the 0, which is just 1. So whenever you have a function just equal to a number, that's going to be a constant polynomial. When we have a linear, it's going to look something like this. f of x equals x plus 1. Now in this case, I have an x to the first, right? So you can see the degree of my x is 1. And then I also have a sub 0, which would be my constant. So any time you have your degree raised to the first power, you have a linear polynomial function. A quadratic, I'm going to do two types. I'm going to do our most famous one, which would be like an x squared plus 2x plus 1, right? where you can see the leading degree as this goes like x to the 1, x to the 0. You can see how my degrees go in descending order. But x to the 0 is just 1, so we don't write it in there. But you can see the leading, degree, or the leading, uh, uh, leading term x squared has a degree of 2. So that's going to be our degree of our quadratic. Now, this has three terms, right? or three different monomials that add up to make us a trinomial. But it doesn't have to be a trinomial for it to be quadratic. As long as the degree, as long as the degree of the polynomial is 2, then we have a quadratic. So it doesn't matter if it has three terms or two terms. And that's going to be the same thing for a cubic, quartic, and quintic. All we're con concerned about is that the degree of each one of those 
is 3, 4, and 5. Not exactly how many terms they have. So a cubic, an example of a cubic one could be f of x equals x cubed minus 5x plus 1. Right, where you can see the degree, the largest exponent is going to be 3. A quartic, you could have f of x equals negative x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5. OK, so you can see this one has the highest degree is to 4, so therefore it's a quartic. And then our quintic, we could have one that could simply just be um, 5x, let's even do something like this, 2 x to the fifth. All right? It has no other terms. It's just one simple monomial. However, the degree of this polynomial is 5. Therefore, it's a quintic uh, polynomial. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a basic little wrap up of how to classify and understand our different types of polynomial functions depending on the degree. Thanks.